Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Game Maker Studio. I know it has been a while since my last tutorial. I was on vacation, but now I'm back of course. As you can see, we are back with the first person shooter tutorial series, but this time we'll start with an empty project. I'm calling this new format from scratch. We'll start with nothing and we'll slowly work our way to something. So let's get started. We'll start with sprites, which is going to be of course sprite player. I'm going to be drawing this simple circle, simple blue circle, and with a little red stripe on the east side. So that's that. And now let's make a second sprite called Sprite Prop. No, not Porp, Prop. Alright, this is going to be a simple yellow circle. And this prop can of course be anything in the game, just so we have some nice stuff here and there. Alright, so now we have two sprites. We're going to skip all this stuff for now, as this is the very first From Scratch tutorial. We're going to be going straight to the objects. Let's create an object and call this one Object Player. So, just click Add Event, click Create, Control, and Code. Just drag this one in here. And I'm going to enlarge this one for you to... Let's see, what button was it? It's this button. Yes, I knew. I remembered. Alright. Let's do three forward slashes and call this one 3D Initialize or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you call it, just so you can find it more easily. D3D Start is the first thing that we'll type. This basically enables 3D mode in Game Maker. You know, adding a lot of these for some reason. D3D Set Hidden, Set to True. This is basically for the Z buffer. I think it basically hides objects behind each other. It's, you know, well, it's necessary to have that on. Reset Lighting is set to False by default. Uh, D3D set culling, set to true. This is not frustum culling, this is just normal culling. This basically doesn't draw for the, uh, triangles on the other side of each triangle, which is great for optimization. Draw set color is set to white by default, just so that the screen is not entirely black from the start. Alright, so those are the very basic 3D things that we'll start off with. Then these little variables, pitch and Z, and Z2. Alright, Z is the player's height, pitch is the lookup with the mouse, you know, and Z2 is the player's length. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all that we need for the first create event. Let's go to the draw event and make a projection code. So I found this new way to do this, this is really nice. So 3D projection. Let's make a few variables called x cos, x plus cos. Um, yeah, well, this is it. Dectorate basically converts a value into degrees. This is the cosinus, which is based. This is basically the same as this pi divided by 180. This is the same thing, but this is just a little shorter. So I figured I'd do it that way. Y minus the sinus dectorad direction and the last one C10 10 tangent dectorad pitch. So I'm not a math genius, so if there's anything wrong with what I just said, please feel free uh, to, you know, uh, correct me if I'm that wrong. I'm just doing the best I can. If the projection extended, x, y, z, here, this comes in handy, y sinus, z10, it makes the projection code a lot shorter, and a lot more clear to look at, so this is really nice. Let's set the f of e to 80 by default, uh, oh yeah, ratio, and um, this stuff. So basically what this means, the ratio is the aspect ratio, of course, if you have a 4x3 monitor, you should be doing this. If you have a widescreen monitor, do this. I'm going to be calling ratio, just in case you're willing to test these, this code on different monitors. So we're going back here. So window get width divided by window get height. This is the ratio. Oh, 
I hit my mic, sorry. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the first object done. Let's set the depth to a very deep value, like this. And I'll be back in one second so I can get my projection or my uh, mouse look code from an old project of mine because I just can't remember it for some reason. I'll be back. Hey there, I'm back. Let's go add a step event and then add a code event. Let's call this one mouse look. And then this code right here. Don't know exactly how it works, to be honest. The The main thing is that it does work, so that's, that's the good thing about it. Um, pitch is pitch clamp. Let's say 87 or something like that. This means that you can't go higher than 87 degrees and not lower than minus 87 degrees, of course. Uh, so yeah, here it is. If you want to copy it, of course, go ahead. And of course, you need to be able to close the game for testing. Game end. All right. Uh, let's go add a simple prop to it. Prop for that we need a very simple texture. So let's do texture block. All right, this will do. This is a great texture for it. All right. So we're going to be clicking object sprite prop, creative end, and go here. Initialize first fist first prop. All right. Uh, let's say block is d4d model create d4d model block block minus 32 minus 32 is 64 now let's let's make a bigger block 64 64 128 64 64 is 0 1 1 text is background get texture texture block x1 oh man kind of cuts off the yeah. a all right that's better x1 is x y1 is y Let's say z is zero for some reason and to get a little bit of variety in there we're going to be setting image angle to random 360. so now let's draw the block draw block all right enlarge the window a bit Give the transform set identity. Give the transform add rotation Z image angle. Give the transform add translation X1, Y1, Z. Give the model draw block 0, 0, 0 text. Give the transform set identity. All right. So now we have a very simple block drawn here, and I kind of want to see what it looks like, and I think you'd want the same thing. So let's go make create a room, and let's not make the room too big now. Let's let's see, 1024 by 1024. Set the resolution a bit lower, 720p. That will do for now. Let's draw a. No, oh, this is fine for now. Set the player right here and set some props here and there. Alright, let's see. Does it give us an error message or not? I'm curious. Really hope it doesn't. Alright, just booting it up. No, there we go. Uh, I see I made some. <laughs> it doesn't look great. I know. Alright. Uh, I've been stupid. Alright, sorry about this. This should fix it. Alright, so this is a first person shooter tutorial in the end. Alright, so I've loaded two models right here, the MP7 and the arm of the MP7. You've probably seen this model before in one of my older videos. Uh, that's basically because it is the same model, of course. So let's load the model into the game. Gun models. Model 1 is d for d No, wait, let's, call, not, not, let's not call it model 1. Let's call it mp7 d3d model create d3d model load mp7 mp7 at game maker model and also let's load the second model arm is d3d model create d3d model load arm arm mp7 game maker model all right 
So now, let's go to the draw event again and draw the gun models. Alright. So D4D transform set identity. Again, D4D transform add translation. 4, 3, 3. This is basically guessing, unless you of course know what to do. I'm guessing these values are correct. If they aren't, you can just modify them, of course. Which I probably will, because I don't think they're correct, but maybe they are, you never know. So the one, the rotation Y set to pitch, and rotation Z, or Z, whatever, direction. Now let's load, no, no, I forgot, we need another translation code. X, Y, Z, Z2, model draw, MP7, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, model draw, arm, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. And now let's have another identity code right here. Fingers crossed that these values are correct. If they aren't, I will gladly modify them. So let's see. Well, the gun is there. The values aren't exactly correct. Let's do two instead. I hope this looks better. Uh, it's it's better. It's fine. It's fine for now. I'm not going to be texturing it right now. There is uh, that. I will do that. And I'll gladly do that in next tutorials, of course. I want that mouse cursor out of the way. Right. So now let's make an other. No, wait. We don't need that yet. Let's do that in another tutorial. Let's make an object bullet. So sprite prop again, and then initialize bullet. Z is object player dot Z plus object player Z two. Basically, the yeah, bullet's height. CTT is object player's pitch. Of course, all credit to Banthi Studios from his old tutorials. That's what I noticed from. I just want to spread the word a little bit. Speed is set to 20 by default or 30. Let's do 30. Whatever. Direction is object player dot direction. And let's see. Did I forget anything? Don't think I did. Right? Step event, low code, Z values, Z pluses, uh, 10, dectorad, times speed. All right. I don't exactly know how that works, but it does, which is fine by me. Bullet indicator. Uh, let's do D3 transform set identity again. Transform add translation. There's one. Oh, no, what am I doing? That's the one. Draw set color is C yellow. D3 uh, draw ellipsoid. Minus 16, 16, uh, 16, 16, 16, minus 16. One, one, um, let's do 10. And finish it up like this. Alright, so now we have this small white bullet that we will be able to shoot out of our gun, of course, soon. Let's do it right now. Uh, so... Click Add Event, Mouse, Global Mouse, and Global Left Breast. Fire a bullet. Alright, so now Instance Create XY Object Bullet. Let's see how this works, or whether it works, it's more important. Um, Alright, yeah that works just fine. Alright, so that's the basic principle of what we have right now. Let's do one more thing before I wrap it up. Let's just blow up one of the boxes, whatever. Um, bullet Z checking. Let's enlarge this one. If place meeting XY object bullet. Um, get destroyed. Only when the bullet is in range. Now, of course, this only works when the bullet is in range. 
what's up gives me a little error uh, it's my fault sorry stupid so if I um, well, let's do let's call another variable called fair ii is instance nearest xy object bullet so if ii dot z smaller than let's say my z plus 64 and ii dot z larger than my own z then instance will destroy and with oh wait let's pull that one bef no no that's not necessary Instance destroy. Right. Let's see if that works. Um, come on. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm a little bit impatient. Yep, that works just fine as well. All right. So that's honestly all I really had time for today. Um. So yeah, this is the new format from scratch. I really hope it is something you guys are gonna like. It's basically just making the game, making the first person shooter, explaining things a lot more thoroughly. I also think that this is a lot more personal, so you can see how things are made behind the scenes. Of course, this is really, really freaking simple. It's mainly because my tutorials are, well, sometimes they're failed projects, projects that I don't no longer work on, or sometimes they're tutorials that I put a lot of hours into. This one is just made, I don't know how long we're recording now, but, you know, I really hope you guys are going to like this new new format. I really think this is a lot better than what I used to do. So please tell me in the comments below if you like this new format, this from scratch tutorial type thing. Tell me please if I should keep making these, and I'll see you guys later.